Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of map reduce. Okay, so its goal is to do distributed processing and parallel processing. So I hope in the last lecture only we introduced about this map reduce, right? Yes. So it is the goal of distributed processing and parallel processing. It is a two phase we are having that is nothing but map and reduce. So we will be giving the input and based on the input we will be mapping them. Means mapping is nothing but we will be dividing them into different different sets. Okay. And these sets will be reduced, guys. Okay. So that is nothing but map reduce and then you'll be getting the output. So this concept is nothing but map reduce, guys. So now I hope everyone got some basic idea about map reduce, right? Okay. So let us go through some theoretical components of this reducing part. So how it is going to reduce? I'm saying mapping and reducing, like simple words I'm saying, right? So how indirectly it is doing? So that's what we'll be discussing now. So input will be given as input to the map function. So basically the first step is nothing but map, right? Yes. So the to the input will be directly given to the map function and and the data is collected and data set is broken into key value pair so assume that the value is 10101 and the format which we are giving assume this is just an example guys so assume that the key value should be 4 bits so i told, i gave like that so in that situation it will be breaking here so now this will be our key and this will be our value so basically this value is indicated by this key so they are indirectly friends or in some relation you can say right yes okay so basically reduce will combine the keys tuples and form a tuple set so basically reduce operation will be having finding all the keys with the same code guys so basically i cannot say that only this will be having the key right so basically even if there could be some message with this and these two belongs to one particular set right so this identification is done by our reduce guys so basically it will observe it and it will be giving you the output that's it okay yes so here we are having a two major things guys so the first one is a master job tracker and the second one is a slave task tracker so basically master job tracker will be a maximum of one which manages the resources which schedules the tasks and monitoring the task okay similarly slave task tracker so basically these slaves could be many right yes so executing the tasks and providing the task status as the requirement of this slaves so basically what is the master do he will be managing the resources scheduling the tasks and monitoring so managing resources means allocating resources for for the slaves to do particular tasks Sim similarly scheduling the tasks so first do this second do this third do this fourth do this like this similarly monitoring so getting status how till where are you done till where are you done like that it, it will be asking similarly slave task slaves task trackers are nothing but we will be having many as we are having many slaves so they will be executing the tasks as well as they will be sending the status like master should not ask right so he, he should not waste his time and go to each and every process ask about the status like slaves should only send so that is nothing but the slave trackers can do okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the map reduce and those concept of master and slave so in the next lecture we will be discussing about hdfs and in the next lecture only i'll be taking an example for this whole map reduce concept guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching